Hey everybody, Steve with the Protected Trust Training Department here, and today we're going to be going over the topic of versioning, specifically versioning in Office 365. This topic comes from a question that we got in one of our other videos, so if you have a question after watching a video, please leave a comment in the comment section and we will reply back, either in written form or if it requires further explanation, we'll do another video on the topic. So with that, let's get started with versioning. So in order to enable versioning, all you have to do is save your file in OneDrive or SharePoint. Here we have a document called Enabling MFA, and if I click on the clock with an arrow going back, I can see all the previous versions of this document. So if I click on this one here, I see that there's some differences, but if I really want to compare, I'll just click the Compare button and then click on one of the red bars to see all the changes that were made from the original document I opened. And I can repeat this process until I find the correct file I'm looking for. I don't have to just stop at the one. So in the previous example, you saw multiple people editing the file. And in this one, you just see me. And I'm just trying to demonstrate here that you don't need to share the document to have versioning enabled. You just have to have it saved in OneDrive. So if I click Compare and click on the red bar like I did in the last one, I can see all the changes that were made. And if I decide that this is the version I'd rather have, I can restore it and it becomes the document that opens by default. But notice I still retain a copy of all versions. Also, you aren't limited to just Office files. Versioning is also available for many file types, but for non-Office files, you'll need to log into the web portal and click on the ellipses to find the different versions. In this case, we're looking at a PDF and we can see that we have three different versions of that. Finally, to create a new version of a document, you can either manually save by clicking the save button, or if you have autosave turned on, it will create a new version every 10 to 15 minutes.